Mate, congratulations. Decent game. Tell us about it. Um, yeah, it wasn't our, our best footballing performance, I guess, of the year, you could say. It was a bit of a bit of a scrap, you can, is it in many words. Uh, I think, well, we went up early 2-0. Um, so we, we, I think we were cruising a little bit at 2-0. Then we let them back into the game. They fought back really well, to be fair to them, to bring it back to 2-all. Um, they sort of changed the way they were playing a little bit more, I think. Um, we sort of worked in their favour, 2-all. Um, end of the second half, and then we nabbed the third one to make it 3-2. Um, from there, I thought we were I thought we were comfortable, I guess, at that stage. Uh, and they came back, scored three all, and deservedly scored the third goal. They pressed us, they had a couple of chances, so they deserved that third goal. Um, and then there, we sort of got them in behind and scored the fourth, and it was about five minutes to go, then it was game over. Beautiful, but what was said at half time, babe? Um, it, to be honest, it was probably the most emotional I've seen Dave in the last, the last sort of 10 weeks. Um, he gave us a bit of a bit of a going at half time to be honest. We were, we were, we were nowhere near where we wanted to be in the first half. Um, and he told us and we needed to be told and we made the changes I think in the second half. We still didn't play it the way we, we could have played I don't think. Um, but yeah, he gave us some honest truths I think about some players out there that were um, needing to change a few things and, and we did that in the second half, um, which, is, which is positive. What did you change? Uh, I think we were, our fullbacks pushing on a little bit too high. Uh, and it, and the midfield, we were getting caught with a few too many touches, and we would rather than sort of we're trying to go in behind a bit too much, rather than try and kick the ball and use our fullbacks. With that's what the space was. Uh, and once we started doing that, I think we got ourselves in the game a bit more. Were you surprised by that fourth goal? Were you were you expecting that, or were you like you uh, played oh, your heart out? I think <laughs> a few of the boys' legs were starting to go. We weren't keen on extra time. I think the last sort of two cup games we've gone extra time, so the boys weren't very keen. Uh, but yeah, when Chris is out wide, his pace is always dangerous. So. I just sort of picked the ball up, popped it in behind, and he got on the end of it, and that was, yeah, game over. So you've just beat the tyre, how do you feel? Oh, yeah, pretty happy. I mean, we just wish I'd keep on going. I think it was just another game for us, so that was our mindset. It was just to play as we usually play, like it was another local league game. Um, obviously it wasn't, it was the NPL team, our sort of, I guess, fl flagship side of the coast. So we, um, it was obviously a big occasion. We had a massive crowd here at Meridian. That's probably the biggest crowd I've ever seen since I've been at the club. It was, oh, yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was really good. I think, I don't, don't know if there are any fire supporters here because we our boys wire crowd are sort of they were great. I sort of um, overawed them I think a bit, which is good. Um, so you guys are still in the comp. You played Bundy in about a four though, is that right? How yeah. Do, what's what's the prep for that? Mate? Um, well we got we've got to go back into the league. We've got a league fixture on Saturday, so we've got to, to get back into training tomorrow and um, get ready for that one. I guess that's first priority. Um, and then you after the I think we've got Gimpy away after that one on the weekend. Then we yeah we get back into training again next week and prepare ourselves for that Bundy match, which will be, be a tough one. Obviously, they're not going to be easy up there. They've made it this far. They're obviously doing something right. So, um, yeah, another tough one. So there's a couple of matches in between the next FFA Cup. Is, I, is just, that going to drain the team a bit, or is it...? Oh, yeah, it's going to test the depth big time. Um, we've got our physios here working hard, and our coaching staff that look after us. So, I mean, if we do all the right things during the week, it's no reason why we can't turn up on the weekend. But like I said, yeah, it's, it's always draining. If you're playing, I think I've played... Well, every week now we're playing sort of three games in the week, Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, so it's, it is tough on the boys I and mean, there's not much training being done, not much more recovery, but um, yeah, it is training. Have you, you played at Hunter Bundy before? Um, the year we beat, we beat the fire I think back in 2014 again and we progressed through and I think we played, I think it was a Gimpy side, they beat the Bundy side that year, so I think this time, because Gimpy might be playing in our comp, um, this will be our first sort of look at look at the Bundy sort of side, yeah. So this is a big conference boost for you guys then? Oh, big time. Into the, the big time. Big time, yeah. I think if you beat Bundy, you play a Gold Coast side. If you play the Gold, if you beat the Gold Coast side, then I mean you're into the 32, which is which is massive. I and mean, you've seen some of the runs that teams have done in the past couple of years, local community clubs like ours. It's um, it's a big big cheery there to be won. I think um, yeah, it's a good path. Um, a couple more games to go, really. Just coming back to the, tonight's match, who yep. would, did I ask you who were some of your standout players? Did I ask you that? No, you didn't. Um, that's <laughs> right. Good that's right. <laughs> Oh, I think collectively we were at our best, um, but I think our two, our, Chris obviously did well outside when she got the ball to his feet, he was dangerous. Um, I think Kane through obviously scoring a goal, um, and he's always looked down for the ball to his feet, I think. Uh, but it's always hard to pick out one player. And in a match like that where it's scrappy and the um, it's high press from both teams, it's always hard to pick out one. It's a bit of a, bit of a big team effort, really, yeah.